Okay. Now let's look into different types of relationship between uh, two sets of numbers in case of an in case of numbers, in case of ordered pairs, what are the various types of relationships we have? Now these relationships can be called in terms of symmetry, transitivity or reflexivity or equivalence. Now let us see what all these actually mean. Let's see what we have here. Now for example, you have reflexive. Now let's take an example. Suppose you have a set, say A, which is 1, 2, 3. So, A cross A is bound to be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, then 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, and 3, 1, 3, 2, and 3, 3. So we have these all these things. Now among these, some of them share a case relationship of reflexivity, which are those where x and y will be equal. So 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2 and 3 comma 3 share relationship of reflexivity. So a number is equal to itself. So you have a reflexive property case. Then you may even have symmetric cases. That means when x is equal to y, you will also have y is equal to x. So, we have a case wherein we have symmetry. That is say 1 comma 2, 2 comma 1. This has symmetry relationship. There is 1 comma 2 and there is 2 comma 1 also. Then there is 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1 and so on and so forth. 2 comma 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1. So, hence we have 1 comma 3, 3 comma 1. 2 comma 3, 3 comma 2 and these are all having sharing a relationship of symmetry <clears throat> that is if it contains ordered pair and its reverse also and you have transitive relationship also say for example you have 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 suppose you have then it will also have 1 comma 3 1 comma 2 2 comma 3 then you also have 1 comma 3 then we call it as a case of transitive property and transitivity exists that is 1 2 is a reflection image of 1 3 is an image of 2 then 3 is the image of 1 also that is if 2 is the image of 1 3 is the image of 2 then 3 is the image of 1 that means if you have a comma b b comma c then it will have also a comma c so, in that case, we have a transitive. And equivalence will happen if the relation is all the three. There is a particular relationship which has reflexive, symmetric, transitive, then it's an equivalence. Then we call it as a typical equivalent relationship. So, this is how you can have the concept of relationship. Now, let us see these examples. Is smaller than over the set of eggs in a box. So, there is a box. And this box has many eggs of different sizes. So any two, three you take. So suppose I take this egg and this egg. Then you have if A is smaller than A, will it be valid? Can an, can an egg be smaller than itself? No, an egg can only be as big as itself. So reflexivity is out of question. If an egg is smaller than B, if one egg is smaller than the second egg, the second egg is not smaller than the first, it is bigger. So, symmetry is also out of question. If one egg is smaller than the second, then second is, and if these two are not, even if one of them is not around, it is definitely not equivalent. If one egg is smaller to second and smaller to second, smaller than third, that means first has to be smaller than third. That means third is the biggest. Second is the second biggest and first is the smallest. So that means first is smaller than third. So the relationship is that of transitivity. Similarly, you have has the same father as over the set of children. So suppose there are many children A, B, C. You are looking at it in that way. So for example, A has the same father as B. Then B will also have the same father as A. If A has the same father as B and B has the same father as C, then A will also have the same father as C. A has the same father as A may not sound strange, sounds a little strange. So among these, 
if A has the same father as B, B has the same father as C is valid. So symmetry is definitely valid. And in this case, even transity is valid. If A has the same father as B and B has the same father as C, then A will also have the same father as C. So both symmetry and transitivity are valid. Perpendicular to over a set of straight lines. So suppose there is a set of straight lines and one is perpendicular to it. Is suppose, sorry. Uh, you have a set of straight lines and a line is perpendicular to it. If this line is perpendicular to these lines, then these lines are also perpendicular to the first. So, it is definitely not a case of reflexivity because they are different sets of lines. So, we have perpendicularity is a case of reflexive. What about parallelism? Suppose we have many lines parallel, one line parallel to another line, then second is also parallel to first. And in a way, in a way, every line is parallel to itself is not valid. If one line is parallel to second, second is parallel to third, then first is parallel to the third. So in case of parallelism, symmetry as well as transitivity are valid. Reflexivity, every line is not parallel to itself. It is it is not parallel to itself. So only symmetry and transitivity are valid in case of this case. In perpendicularity, it is a clear case of only reflexivity. You cannot have symmetry. Sorry, it's not reflexivity. It is symmetry. I'm sorry. If one in case of perpendicular, if a line is perpendicular to a given set of lines, then those lines are also perpendicular. That means if one is a pre-image of second, second is the image of the first. Is the reciprocal, suppose you have 2 and half, 2 is a reciprocal of half, half is a reciprocal of 2. That means 2 and half are image and pre-images of each other. So definitely it's a case of symmetry. So hence the first one is transitive, the second one could be either symmetry or transitive, the third is symmetry and the fourth is also symmetry. Right, so hence accordingly, this is again example of the relationship between them. Similarly, you can even talk in terms of cousins. Suppose we have three cousins A, B, and C. It's quite true. A, B, and C. So we can say A and A is a cousin of B, B is a cousin of A also. A is a cousin of B and B is a cousin of C. Though in that case, C need not be the cousin of A. He could not be the first cousin. He could be the second cousin. Say for example, he is from the mother's side. These two are related from the mother's side and these two could be related from the father's side. So A and C are not first cousins, but they, are, they might be second cousins, but they are not first cousins. So when you are talking about first cousins, there is only a relationship of reflexivity that exists between them. So again, these are examples of that. Similarly for tall, A is, suppose A is taller than B, A you have here, B here and C here. So, or A is shorter than B, B is not shorter than A. If A is shorter than B and B is shorter than C, that means A is shorter than C. So again there is a relationship of transitivity here. If A is shorter than B, B is not shorter than A, B is taller. So there is no symmetry here, there is only transitivity in this case okay right further now here for example x belongs to set x y belongs to set y y is equal to x so we are considering 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 3 comma 3 4 comma 4 that means every number is the pre-image of itself or vice versa so what relationship is this? Is this transitivity? Definitely not. Reflexivity? Yes, this is reflexivity wherein the image and pre-image are one and the same. So this is definitely reflexivity. If you look at this, this also on simplification becomes y is equal to x since it is the same as this. So this is also reflexivity. Is the square of over n set of real numbers? Now suppose I have a number a. Every number is a square of itself. It is not true because that is valid only for 1. 1 is the only number which is a square of itself. So there it is definitely not reflexive. If A is square of B, 
say for example 4 square of 2 2 is not the square of 4 so definitely not similar if a 16 is the square of 4 and 4 is the square of 2 it doesn't mean that 16 is the square of 2 so definitely not symmetry not transitivity either if one number is square of second and second is square of third first is not the square of the third so it's not transitivity every number is a square of itself is true but only for one hence it's not true for all if one number is square of second, second is not the square of the first, it is a square root. So it's not reflexivity, nor symmetry, nor transitivity, it's none of these. So it's definitely not equivalence either. Okay. Alright. Okay. In the set N of all natural numbers, the relation R defined by R A R B is related to B. If and only if A divides B, that means if A divides B, that means A is divisible by B, B is not necessarily divisible by unless A and B are 1. So for example, 10 is divisible by 5, but 5 is not divisible by 10. So it's definitely not symmetry relationship and if it's not symmetry, it is not equivalence also. And there is no question of partial order relationship. It has to be none of this. Right? It's none of these. Okay? Then we have if A is equal to 1, 2, 3, relation 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. It's quite clear every in each of these cases, one is the, both of them are images and pre-images of each other. So it's a clear-cut case of reflexivity. Okay?